November 7, Oscar Yankee. Uh, 2 Alpha San Joaquin Valley, please copy. 4 Alpha Oregon, 4 Alpha Oscar Romeo. Uh, TSL, TSL, thank you. Uh, Southern Station, go ahead. Uh, Alpha Romeo, Alpha Romeo, Southern Station, go ahead. It's primarily for emergency communications. And they started it actually when radio was new in the early 1900s with this event, and it has gone on every year since. And by this, we go out, we set up, and we practice doing emergency communications. We get off the grid. In other words, we get away from AC power. We have our own generators or use batteries. We set up antennas, you know, big ones and small ones. And here we've got four radios going at the same time, working on different bands. And with that, we just have a really lot of fun. And so, you know, hams get together every year. They, they, every time it comes up, we get different gear ready and we work on it. And then we come and we set it up and we see how many people we can contact. And, and then we invite everybody that we can. You know, the sheriff's been over here, the fire department's been here, and everybody that we can think of. Because these are people that will be working with if there's a real emergency. If there's a real emergency, very often what happens is the infrastructure will go down, the cell phones go out, telephones will go out. Uh, very often the communications for the emergency services will uh, uh, go down. Or even if they don't go down, what happens is they become overloaded. And they need something to back up that system. So we're, we're ready, we practice, we work with the, the different services. Uh, we get to know the people, and then if something does come in, we're standing by ready to communicate for them if they, if they have a need. So that's the big thing. And then we, we invite everybody to come down and see what we do. Uh, last year we had one fellow come, on, come here. We put him on the radio. He started operating, never been on a radio before. He's got his general class license now as a ham, and he's got his own rig, and he's operating. And he was here all night last night. And, I mean, it's, it's just a, it's a lot of fun. Field A, CQ Field A, CQ Field A. November 7, Oscar Yankee. November 7, Oscar Yankee. Hello, hello, anybody anywhere? Kilo Echo 7, November, Charlie Tango, Field A. November 7, Oscar Yankee. Uh, something 7, Oscar Yankee, come again? November 7, Oscar Yankee. Roger that. Thank you. 73s. 73, and you have a pretty nice idea. Kilo Echo 7, November, Charlie. Thank you. Good day. Yeah. Kilo Echo 7, November, Charlie. Thank you. Good day. November 7, Oscar Yankee. November 7, Oscar Yankee, go ahead. Yes, we are 4 Alpha, Oregon. USL 4 Alpha, Oregon, please copy 1 Baker, Oregon. USL? Copy that. 73s, have a good field day. Good luck in the contest. QRZ, Whiskey 7, Oscar okay. Sierra, November. Copy that time was at 50 miles, five zero miles north of Yellowstone Park. Oh, very good. I haven't heard anybody else on on this pass. Charlie Mike 88. Good copy. Yeah, what's your location? Call sign here would be November 7, Oscar Yankee for Alpha, Oregon, in Newport, Oregon. Okay, thank you for that. For Alpha, Oregon, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Hope your field day went well. 
Well, one thing that uh, we're fortunate here is participating with Lincoln County Sheriff's Office in emergency management, and they've been very helpful in providing us equipment and support. Uh, almost everyone that's involved in emergency communications has got a backup battery or a generator or solar panel or some other alternative form of power so they can run their equipment in an emergency. We have a spreadsheet uh, that's available for all our membership to put all their information on with the types of radios, antennas, backup power system and those kind of things so that we know where those resources are and who has those available. Uh, Warehams have always come to the front in the past emergencies as we show up with our own equipment and can immediately get it on the air and contact other people to get messages across. If emergency services are unable to get their information in, we'll help with the state Office of Emergency Management to bring that information into the county. If they're taking care of the county load already, a lot of what we do is what's called health and welfare traffic, which is grandma in Wisconsin who wants to check on the family out here, but the phone lines are down and she can't get in. So. We'll do a lot of messages from uh, shelters and centers like that that we can let everybody know that their family is okay. So there's a lot of health and welfare we'll do as well.